Hello beautiful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh and we have some reviews going on tonight. I have few fragrances that are big thanks to my dear brothers and this one right here is Interlude Black Iris by House of Amouage. Uh, this perfume is a uh, big thanks to Ali Bhai who bought this uh, I think last month or a couple of months back. Um, this is a big release okay those who are fan of amouage um, definitely would like to get their hands on this or nose onto this uh, sample it uh, without blind buying because blind buying can be very expensive mistake so big thanks to alibai thank you so much alibai for your generosity and lending me your perfume bottles i'll try to do my best to do justice to this flanker of my favorite interlude man they don't look very different from here but there's some difference in the presentation uh exact same size 100 ml and uh, interlude man basically is my number one amouage definitely followed by some other like journeyman epic man reflection they're all great but interlude is my king uh, i just love it it's just talk about the original one this feels like a king from middle eastern countries um who has a lot of power okay it feels like authority like a beast it's known as blue beast with this beautiful golden and blue combination uh last forever tobacco well, not sorry not tobacco like ashy uh, leather incense a lot of these animalic notes makes it very very scary either you wear it or it wears you okay so how good is interlude black iris most of you know this one they will be able to relate with the black iris and there's a new one coming up or already out which is called interlude 53 or something and uh, that one is going to be even the strongest version of all this so <laughs> uh, good good lord <laughs> so let's see let's start so first of all here's the packaging very beautiful coloration on this i'm going to be try i'm going to try to be careful i think uh yeah let me try to put i think i did it wrongly yes i put it wrongly okay wait give me a sec okay that's how that looks okay it says interlude black iris beautiful blue packaging typical of amouage this is made in oman 100 ml i don't know if they have a 50 ml should have um they might have later uk made version back it looks like a nice artwork okay they all have the same artwork and here one thing to notice the edp concentration but here these crowns are a little bit raised okay uh, focusing is a bit difficult here okay yeah, the crown's a little bit raised and these are going to be faked a lot. So be careful of that. This is going to be feeling like a little bit raised, this crown. Okay, really nice. Okay, and always buy this perfume from uh, renowned sources. Do not buy uh, if they are cheap, like $100 even. Do not do it. Okay, this fragrance is going to cost you money. So do spend the money to get the perfume. When you open it, I'm not a very big fan of this presentation. You guys know. Just this much. Uh, podium inside for this heavy little bottle here it's not good enough even tom ford and amouage they should definitely upgrade their packaging because moment you take out this bottle out of this let's say over the floor you can drop it and it can break okay gonna be heartbreaker so make sure you open these bottles on uh, top of your bed or somewhere that's soft cushioning underneath okay many people have broken their bottles uh, let's say sunshine man some of their other floral collection they have like this flat kind of boxes where the bottle stays like this uh, and then it's like the bottle will be like like this not here at the base those are better presentation i agree with ali bhai the bottle looks exactly almost like the same just few upgrades the color is uh, of the cap is kind of like a gray black and the soversky gemstone is a bit different colored compared to um, i think the interlude uh, original one cap different colors and the crest is also different golden versus here it's a uh, again i think grayish darker color okay i don't know yeah it, it it's difficulty focusing okay sorry about that and to say black iris you must have seen this reviews other places but i'm gonna show you from my side okay that's how that bottle looks these are magnetic tops here i don't know if the names no the name doesn't say on the neck and it's nice little uh, magnetic top so sprayer looks good let me just do one spray and then review this okay sprayer is okay and you don't need more than that some of you feel some of you will say like this is not as good as chanel or dior or creed uh sprayers you just need that much literally okay so how is it <clears throat> um you really have to smell these perfumes you know apart from watching reviews you have to get a sample if you get an official sample that's the only time you're gonna know how good or how bad or how they are 
okay uh, that's my first comment because we can try our best to describe perfumes but unless you smell it you won't be able to tell which is what so this the name black iris first of all uh, iris is a note that is a very popular modern note nowadays because let's say fragrance like diorum intense you know like some other fragrance like lipstick on you know they're using a lot of iris waxy lipstick iris to give that um metrosexual you know sort of like a not really unisex to the point but it makes like more metrosexual kind of men that are i'm not saying they go both ways but uh, they are kind of like you know they are more relaxed than people who wear pakuraban purom or something like a just a powerhouse sort of it becomes more versatile nowadays you know so people who are you know like they do experimentation with their dressing and they do have some colors added their life you know not like typical 70s or uh 60s uh, that sort of dress so this one they try to add that iris so how different is it in the opening it does smell different okay when i smell it first up it smells really beautiful it almost the point of uh the leather and iris pops up right in the opening i really like that and it's really much more subtle than original i just going to keep it here and then talk side by side this one interlude the original one smoke the opening is much more smoky it's much more uh daring and this fragrance is really beast mode opening but compared to that this one doesn't do that it's still very strong longevity i think is the original one uh it's much stronger but this one i got interlude black iris i got about 8 hours after that it starts become fade uh interlude original i get over, well over 12 hours so performance wise this one still is king but it's not weak black iris still has beautiful longevity uh talking about projection i get about 3 hours of projection from this uh, original one i get about 6 to 7 hours it continues to project all day okay but is that a bad thing is that the only criteria where you're going to say no this is not as good as this no nope. this one is more versatile compared to this this one you can get away wearing this more number of months compared to this in a year okay interlude man without winter don't think about it if it's hot and humid as hell and you put five ten sprays you are committing a crime this one on the other hand if it's not super hot let's say it's kind of breezy uh, not summer but let's say you know like we live in bangladesh so you know we don't wait like 10 months to wear a fragrance but you can wear this almost 8 months a year i think interlude black iris when it's fall spring rainy season uh, kind of breezy you can get away with this in the evening time both are evening wear but uh, this is more versatile compared to the original so the iris i was talking about the iris sorry about that i lost track be excited it is the sad part that is for me is that the iris is not super long lasting in this after 10 minutes or so the iris starts just disappearing you know and the iris says bye bye you know i'm just here to give you a nice opening and then you deal with your other brother with your dry down the dry down this smells a lot like original big pro i don't know how the 53 is going to be the new one but dry down it feels kind of like the reference is tom ford tuscan leather versus what you get in ombre leather uh, ombre leather feels like a little bit a uh, uh, let's say dyed version of tuscan leather and tuscan leather is much more animalic same thing here the original one is much more animalic this is more wearable i'm not saying this is a designer version but this also smells niche very posh but the less smoky less leather everything is just amped down and it's just more buttery creamy i guess the iris leaves that sort of a, a room for smoothness you know like it's less smoky more smooth so that's how i see interlude black iris still not a safe blind buy okay if you do not like this you're not going to like this highly likely and this is not for faint of heart so this is for people who like living dangerously by the edge this is a fragrance good for smokers good for leather jacket bikers um, daredevils people who like to approach women with lot of guts and they have like definite strong persona so definitely black iris i would say you can get away with this in indoors this is an outdoor scent uh, perhaps i'll just give you just final comparison one spray of interlude is equivalent to three sprays of black iris that's how i say it but if you want less smoky version less aggressive less leathery and a more uh, like let's say you can wear with a suit at work also perhaps yes black iris is the way to look at i really like both of them i'm not going to lie uh, this feels like younger brother of interlude okay this is not a bad thing to say but 
this is definitely more wearable version beautiful packaging absolutely love this line i'm very um, biased towards this uh, particular dna so amouage hats off well done uh, not worth that uh, retail price tag definitely interlude whatever this fragrance if you wear like six seven months or a year or so prices will definitely hit the discounters but this is a herod exclusive so is it herod exclusive or i forgot but uh, this might not be that cheap so you have to wait perhaps a year or so but uh, if this is available if you want to get a taste of it try them side by side see which one you like but this is going to be more pricey at this point so overall interlude man 10 i'm giving this a nine and a half okay uh why nine and a half because interlude is perfection and this is something i would say um, i love for a number of years if i get to wear them side by side say a year i perhaps will give it 10 as well but nine and a half is no joke okay so definitely try out black iris amazing name nice bottle beautiful perfume posh smooth creamier version of interlude man that's my assessment and you can definitely get a sample and see if it works for you thanks very much for watching thanks alibi for your bottle courtesy and perhaps you'll also get compliments with this which is tough to say for this people get scared when they smell this on you they respect you but this one they, they may compliment you okay <laughs> take care guys thanks for watching good night from Dhaka, bangladesh bye, -bye.